Okay, I'm going to show you a quick trick now to insert complex character and place names into your dictation absolutely perfectly every time using a little technique in Dragon uh, called Auto Text. Now, Auto Text exists in both Dragon for Mac and Dragon, naturally speaking, for Windows. It's in it's in both of them. I'm on Dragon for Mac right now, but it doesn't matter, you'll find this functionality is in both versions of the software. Now, uh, I've pulled up some names here from the web. This is from um, uh, something called Ghost in the Shell, which is a Japanese uh, manga and anime series. And so we've got some names here which uh, are quite tricky. And if you're a, a fantasy writer or science fiction writer or anything like that, or maybe you just have a lot of uh, foreign character names in your stories, um, this is something that Dragon can get really, you know, tripped up on every time. Um, now, I know what you're thinking. Well, just just train Dragon to, to understand those names and places. You can do that, uh, but it doesn't always work. It tends to uh, stumble over place names and, and characters, uh, character names quite a bit because Dragon operates on uh, a large vocabulary or dictionary based on the dialect and the country that you set the profile up in. So when you start inserting names and places that it doesn't understand, it, it really starts to get a little bit confused. Um, a good example of that, something I've always had a problem with, no matter how much I've trained it, is uh, the word Kobo, you know, the uh, online bookstore. It just cannot get it, no matter how many times I've trained it. Uh, sometimes it'll put a small K, sometimes it'll uh, insert COBOL, which is a programming language. Um, so certain things, it just can't get it. This technique ensures that it gets it every single time without fail. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So what we do is we uh, use something up here in the Dragon menu called Add New Auto Text. And... Just bring that up for you and it brings up a little box and in here you insert exactly what you want to be um, uh, uh, put into your dictation so we, we first of all need to issue a command to trigger these names or places or whatever every time so we're going to call this one insert character one okay so uh, i will call our first character matoko and we're going to pop it in there. So you can leave the description bit blank if you want. Uh, so insert character one will be what we say to Dragon. And Matoko should be what it inserts into the text. So we just click create. Now it could be that we also want to uh, insert the character's full name and title. So for example, he's actually called Major Matoko Kusanagi. So we're going to put that in as well. So we just create. Uh, another new add new auto text and this time we paste that one in there and just to differentiate it from the first one we're going to do insert character one title like that okay because it includes his title and his surname as well so we create that one and let's put a couple more in so let's do Tagusa or to, to well, however you say it, I am probably completely mangling these names, so I do apologize. Insert character two. So if a human being has tr trouble with them, what do you think uh, happens with dragon? And we'll do this last one, Ishikawa. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> okay, and we'll call that insert character Three. There we go. And that's it. So we've put them all in. And what might be useful is if you create a little crib sheet for yourself. So just write down on a piece of paper, character one, Motoko. Character two, Tagusa. Character three, Ishikawa. And so on. So that as you're dictating, you can just refer to them quickly on your crib sheet. And I'm sure that, you know, after a while, you'll, you'll be easily just um, doing it from memory. Okay, so let's give this a go. Let's dictate a little bit of 
off the top of my head text and, and see if this works. Okay, so we just actually recovered from a crash. <laughs> so we're back. Um, so let's do some dictation based on what we uh, just set up. Let's see if it all works. Wake up. Open quote. How does everything look? Comma. Insert character one. Question mark. Close quote. New line. Insert character one title. Surveyed the damage. Full stop. Open quote. Not good. Comma. Close quote. He replied. Full stop. Open quote. Have you seen any trace of insert character two, insert character three, scratch that, and insert character three, question mark, close quote, go to sleep. There we go. So that worked absolutely perfectly. I forgot to say and after Tagusa, uh, but yeah it worked absolutely perfectly so as we can see it's put all the character names in exactly as we'd like uh, including the full title uh, that one we did as well so there you go that's how you guarantee that you get your uh, complex names and places into your dictation perfectly every time um, now you don't have to just use it for that you can use it for practical reasons as well so I'm going to quickly show you an example of that if you just want to type a letter or something like that and you want to insert your address every time so in order to do that go up to add new auto text and we'll call this one insert home address so you could have one for your work address and uh, your email signature or whatever you want okay so we'll type in 26 any town street here we go and you can actually hit enter and go to the next line in this it works fine within this box to do that any town uh, any state uh, s you put your zip or your postcode in like that okay so we'll create that as well and wake up wake up insert home address go to sleep so there you go so as you can see the auto text feature in dragon is not only a terrific time saver it's also great for in certain uh, the sorts of things that dragon just gets wrong or stumbles over uh, quite a lot so i hope this has been useful and I will see you in the next video.